Oh, morning. Looks like I'm still asleep. But you'd be right. This morning I am really in the mood to catch some bluegill for a nice catch and cook. I haven't done that for you guys in a while. So we're going to do that this morning. Sometimes it's just too early for too early. This is going to be worth your time. We're going to try a different recipe today. Uh, the last one I did with the Louisiana Cajun style today, not, not, not so much. We're going to try it a little bit, uh, a little more of a flower design. So guys, stick around and we're going to catch as many bluegill as possible. So we're on a dock. This is kind of a cool dock. So this thing goes up to a, the cars. And this is like a three-tier dock, so you can get quite a few fishermen in here. And this is where a lot of people will sit to catch bluegill like crazy. Uh, bluegill and crappie, excuse me. Um, I know for a fact there's a structure, oh, 25 foot out. But we're going to kind of see how it goes here. The first thing, the lake seems a little murky. We're going to let that sit out there. All right, there we go. There's our first fish. Hey, that's not a bad looking bluegill either. Yes, sir. I'll take that guy. You betcha. So there's number one. That's a nice, that's a nice bluegill. Not quite a palm size, but I'm going to take that guy. We'll put him right down in there. We'll get this right back down in there. Do it again. So there right underneath this dock you get this is like shooting fish in a barrel oh i missed him it's not going to take long for these bluegill to come out from underneath this dock and get some lunch there's a lot of schooling really my goal is to come up with about five or six bluegill to have a little snack with this morning and I think the, probably the best way to do it is this right here just pick them up get them in the bucket our limit here is 25 so check your check your local regulations and make sure that you know how many you can take and this is I know people are going to say well this is like shooting fish in a barrel you're not really fishing nah yeah yeah I am I'm looking for bluegill and I'm just going to pick them up out of the water one right after another because it's early morning and uh, you guys are watching this like as it happens there's no cuts in this so far and uh, this is a nice bluegill right here that's a really nice bluegill and we're going to end up with probably as many as I can pull out of here this morning I'll go home and cook me up some more It'd be a good catch and cook honestly this is this is grassroots stuff i mean you're back to the basics with this kind of fishing you know and there's i can see there's a couple bigger fish in here too i'd love to hook into something a little, a little bit more substantial and i'd love to hook into some crappie too that'd be great for good eating but these fish are so much fun to catch bluegill are good for meals you can get your kids out there and you catch bluegill pretty much all day you know, bluegill are just they're opportunistic they're going to eat kind of anything they can find they will strip you clean so if you're not ready for it they're going to get you i'm probably stripped clean right here i didn't bring my bass poles today i didn't bring my catfish poles probably should have brought my catfish poles but that's all right i'm gonna see if we can have some fun with some bluegill here this morning <laughs> and yep there we go nothing there so we're gonna load this back up and see if we can catch some more there's a couple really nice bluegill right along this dock edge some really good ones actually let's see if we can hook into one of these guys nope but they can pick me clean faster than you can think twice about it i've never seen fish breach like that that is that is so cool so anyway we're gonna be out here for about another oh, 15 minutes and then we're gonna call it good and go home and clean these fish up and get ready for our uh our cook for the evening or this afternoon for lunch i'm definitely in the mood for a catch and cook and and i'm sure you guys are probably interested in what that's going to look like um and if you are stick around we are going to do a a catch we have the catch we're going to do a cook later we're not going to do the clean um 
you know, YouTube and all their, you know, not so happy about cleaning parts. Uh, we're not going to show that, but uh, we're going to have the cook coming up here shortly. We're going to try for just a couple more fish in the meantime. Stick, stay tuned. We have cleaned our fish. The fish are done. We've got actually some really good nuggets out of this blue these bluegill. There wasn't there wasn't a ton, obviously, but hey, we're gonna take what we can. Bluegill are small, so we're gonna change this up. I am going to be going um, with flour, flour, Lowry's, some garlic, and I've already added ground pepper into the flour. Um, I am partial to Lowry's. You guys use whatever you want for your favorites. Uh, last time I did the Louisiana seasonings and it went okay. I'm just not, eh. I'm going to try it my way this time. So I don't have an exact measurement for either one. I don't. I never do. It's just a, a pinch here, a pinch there. You know what I mean? So we're going to get that in there and shake it up. And I say that's probably going to be good. Now I'm going to set this off to the side and get the eggs cracked in here. We'll go with three eggs. We get those whipped. All right, set that guy right there. Now, me personally, I will put in just a dash of garlic. Some people say that's not a dash. You're right, it's not. <laughs> Get this mixed up, a little bit of pepper in there. And we're gonna grab this. And our fish, we're gonna head over to the sink, or the, the sink, we're gonna head over to the stove. <clears throat> we're gonna go again. Straight out of the bag, straight into the egg, into the flour. And get these just coated the best I can. These turned out really good on the fact that these are just meaty chunks. The bigger they are, obviously, the bigger the nugget. So we're getting plenty of nuggets out of this. Straight into the flour. And these are going to be delicious. Now, on top of the fish, a lot of people will do the fish and chips. Um, you folks on the East Coast know what a fish and chip is. Um, I'm not going that route. I'm going to go kind of a green bean for a side. I'm in the mood for green beans tonight. I have eaten already. I don't even care. I'm dying. I want this. I've been waiting for this all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my hands. We'll be back with you in just a second. All right, we've got our fish in the in the bag here. We're gonna give this a shake. We've got our oil is nice and hot. You don't want to get it too hot. You want to make sure that you're regulating the heat on it. You don't want it too cold, obviously. Otherwise, it doesn't cook anything at all. That doesn't do you any good either. So. If you guys haven't, oh, if you guys haven't seen, have you guys haven't seen that? Check it out. We got merch, boys. We got merch. If you guys haven't ha taken the chance yet, you guys can pick up these shirts in the description below. They are ready now. Uh, we've got more coming. So watch for those. All right, so we've got to batter it up. Ooh, those are fire. Looking like it's a bit hot. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. Otherwise, it's gonna to cook too fast.
Looking good, looking good. All right, these are not, I mean, this isn't gonna take long at all. I would say these are, they're probably done by now, so we're gonna go ahead and pull these off. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see them. Take a look. You see, see my dude down here? <laughs> we're cooking, it's time for him to come sniff around. So we're gonna pull these off. We got the green beans already. A lot of people are like, why would you have green beans with fish? You know what? Because green beans, that's why. Green beans are green beans, they're delicious. Now my daughter, on the other hand, she wouldn't tell you that. She doesn't like green beans or corn. She likes sweet corn, but that's about it. All right, so we'll let that chill. And get a spoon. That'll make the wife mad. No. Alright, so we're gonna get these guys onto a plate. Some green beans. We'll, uh, We'll see you over at the table. All right. I forgot a fork. Come here. That looks delicious. We're gonna put a little bit of lemon on there. Not a lot. I'm not a big lemon fan, but we'll put some on there and on our green beans. Garlic powder, just a, just a, a sprinkle. And this is going to be delicious. That's fantastic. Totally worth it. Everybody, we've taken, we didn't spare a single thing. Smaller bluegill, larger bluegill. Totally worth it. Flour, Lowry's, garlic, and then some pepper. And just let it cook. You guys can't go wrong with that. If you guys want to try Louisiana, go for it. You see that in a prior episode. Guys, I appreciate you sticking around. Um, I've gotten a bunch of added support. A lot of you guys have joined me on my lives. Thank you very much for all that. The added support that's come to me uh, means a ton. If you guys enjoy this episode today, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't mind. And don't forget to check out the merch. Got more coming. Keep an eye on the website for that. All right, guys. I'm going to sit down and enjoy some bluegill and some green beans. And I'll see you guys next time.